Well, that brings us to this story in Atlantic City. Where a year after legal marijuana sales started in New Jersey, Atlantic City is getting its first recreational marijuana shop. Well, what does the mayor think about that, Shana? Well, he's uh, right here to ask him. So I'm joined now by the mayor of Atlantic City, Mayor Marty uh, Small. Good morning. How are you? Yes, good morning to you. Good morning, Mike and Alex and all the Good Day viewing audience. And it's a great day here in the city of Atlantic City and a historic day as well. Absolutely. Now walk me through this because we're live right outside of the first of its kind uh, marijuana dispensary here in, in Atlantic City. Talk to me about uh, kind of how we got here. Well, um, many years ago when I was the city council president, I was against the whole marijuana concept. One who never smoked marijuana, who don't like the smell of marijuana, was just against it in general. But when you're a leader, it can't be about your own uh, personal feelings. I said I would never govern, govern on feelings and emotions. I would deal with the facts and data. So I did a complete uh, 180 and changed my position to bring marijuana here. I'm the one that made the decision because towns could have opted in and out. I said Atlantic City is going to be all in, and I did it in the name of tax relief. Um, and community uh, benefits agreement. Um, the tax relief that it's going to provide the residents of Atlantic City. This is a small store. In back of us, there's a three-story facility that will be open uh, in September. But I have to give kudos to my team who led the charge. Start with my constituent service director, Kashawn uh, Cash McKinley, um, and his cannabis review board with Councilwoman Stephanie Marshall, assistant sol city solicitor, Carl Timbers, Director of Licensing and Inspection, Dale Finch, and Atlantic City residents at Katz, and they're the one that did the heavy lifting to get us where we are today. Absolutely. Now, MPX, you obviously have, uh, are familiar with the owner, kind of how they got here as well, and now that this is opening officially at 11 a.m., what, what is your message to not only the folks that live here and hope to benefit by that tax relief, but also to the tourists that uh, we're likely going to expect, especially as the summer months approach us? Well, um, I definitely see it being a, a tourist attraction. Um, we want to be the East Coast hub of cannabis as far as what it's going to do for us fiscally, not only with MPX, but the others that are going to come down the line. With this particular company, in addition to the mandated 2% tax uh, that we get from the sales, they're going to uh, dump a million dollars here in the great city of Atlantic City over the next 10 years. $25,000 a year for the next 10 years for a licensing fee, and $750,000 is going to go uh, to community groups that we want to partner with them because this administration knows what's best for the great city of Atlantic City. All right, Mayor Small, thank you for what you do. Thank you for coming out and talking to us. No Congratulations problem. on what's supposed to be a big day for your city going forward and what that's going to look like uh, for your residents. So thank you so much for joining us, guys. I'll send it back to you. Okay. Hey, where is it exactly in AC? Not that I'm going over there after the show. For the people, in case they yeah. want to know. It's okay, Mike. I know you will. I'll give you the address. I know you want to put it in your Uber. It's on It's on uh, New York Avenue. Uh, New York <laughs> Avenue. Okay. Put it in my Uber. Uh, All right, Jana. Thank you.